Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to read the story, Making the Moose of Life. So front cover, back cover, spine. Okay, this is the title, the Making the Moose of Life. And the author is Nicholas Oland. And that means he's the author and the illustrator. He wrote the words and drew the pictures today. All right, Making the Moose of Life. Sorry, Making the Moose Out of Life. There once was a moose who lived in the wild, but he didn't act wild at all. When it rained, his friends would go puddle jumping. Not this moose, too wet. When the wind blew, his friends would go kite flying. Not this moose, too windy. When it snowed, his friends would go skiing. Not this moose, too cold. But every now and then, the moose would get the feeling he was missing out on something. What could it be? I wonder what he's missing. Um, the moose tried meditating, searching the internet, looking into a crystal ball, praying to the moose above, and scanning the night, the night sky. But the new moose didn't find a thing. One sunny day, the moose was struck with a thought. He needed to take life by the antlers if he was going to find that something missing. In the same instant, he noticed the sailboat at the water's edge. It sailed gently flapping in the breeze. The moose was inspired. I wonder what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna sail. <gasps> with his friends looking on, the moose set sail. But what started as a gentle breeze turned into a strong wind. Uh-oh, good thing he's wearing a life jacket. And soon, a raging storm. The moose battled the storm till he could fight no more. <gasps> I even see a shark, oh my goodness. In the morning, the moose woke up scared and alone on a deserted island. Normally, this moose would have curled into a ball and cried, but that day he looked took a deep breath and got to work. The mo moose located a source of fresh water, gathered wood and made a signal fire, built a shelter, climbed for coconuts, learned to spear fish, and met a tortoise named Tuesday. Over the following days and weeks, the moose faced many challenges and thought of home often. But with Tuesday by his side, he made the most of island life. When it was hot, they went swimming. When the waves were big, they surfed. When it was cold, they roasted coconut by the fire. Life was pretty good. Just then, the moose was about to pour Tuesday another coconut smoothie one, one evening when a ship appeared in the horizon. Quickly, they threw more wood onto the fire to get the crew's attention. When the ship came to Moose's rescue, the two friends said their goodbyes, promised to write, and made plans to get together over the holidays. The Moose had been rescued on day three of a two-week Caribbean cruise. At first, he was nervous about being back at sea, but when the Moose finally left his cabin, it didn't take him long to embrace the cruise ship lifestyle. He enjoyed all-day buffets, shuffleboard on the Lido deck, and all-night card games. When the moose finally arrived home, his friends could hardly believe their eyes. The beaver and the bear thought they had lost their friend forever. They gave him a big welcome home hug, and when the once-mannered moose said, let's go cliff jumping, his friends were overjoyed. Dear Tuesday, I feel like a new moose. I'm always doing something fun and exciting. Can't wait for the holidays. I miss you. Have you ever been to Africa? Love, moose. This story makes me think that the author is trying to tell us a little, give us a little lesson, teach us something. And what I think the author is saying is, no matter where you are or what you're doing, make the best out of your situation. Like the moose, if you're in the forest, have fun in the forest. 
If you're stuck on an island, have fun on the island. If you're on a cruise ship, on a cruise ship. And if you're at home, make the best of what you have to do at home. See you next time, boys and girls.